Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we will be talking about early math apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin. And my name is Ashley Roki. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today, we're going to talk about some apps that will help with early math learning. And um, the first two apps that I'm going to talk about are from First Eight Studios. Mm -hmm. um, and the first one is called Breakfast Time. Early and this app Gracie basically and just helps um, children learn how to Breakfast separate time. into equal Jump parts. And what's really nice about this app is it gives you directions first, mm -hmm. and it gives them directions so they're no, they know what they're supposed to be doing. And I've already played around with this, so it's probably not going to give me directions, but basically you just... One, two. So now they're aware there's two plates, mm -hmm. and we have a pancake here, so we're going to split it into two. Oh, so it has a line there yep. to show you where to split it. Yep. Okay. And then you just drag the pieces to the plates, and it will give you... Let's feed our friends. And then you just have your friends eat it. Excellent! Mm -hmm. Let's try to do something wrong. One, two, Kay. three, four. So it looks like we're splitting up some yogurt here. Oh, maybe let me do two scoops. Hmm. The bowls need an equal number of berries. Hmm. This bowl has too many berries. Okay, so if you do get it wrong, mm -hmm. it will tell you that something's wrong, so you have to correct it. And it's nice that it tells, since it's for early childhood math, it's nice that it tells you which one mm -hmm. is incorrect. And then once again, just so pretty simple, but mm -hmm. very useful for younger students. And different objects at different time points, so they don't get the fixated on the same mm -hmm. on the same food in this case. Let's see what they offer again. Okay. What I what I like about this is that it constantly gives directions and it walks you through it. And it counts for you, so you can actually. Uh, learn every time you do this. Right. There's no expectation that you'll uh, just figure it out. Yep. Um, and the lines don't show until you actually do it. Mm -hmm. So if I was, that's the only bad thing. So if a yep. student was trying to cut the watermelon this yep. way, it wouldn't let them. One way, the other way. And then. Let's okay. feed our friends. Okay, so that's the first one. What is the second one? Um, the second one is also from First Aid Studios, mm -hmm. and it's called um, Treasure Bubbles. All right. Um, this particular app from First Aid Studios mm -hmm. works on number sense. Okay. So we have our friends here. We're gonna have them blow some bubbles. So you have the number on the top mm -hmm. left, Which and then the number of objects. Right. So then Let's it tells you it has the same number. We need the groups of two. This is two, this is two, and this is two. And that's neat that it Let's shows you different two. ways that two yep. objects can appear. And this is very good because it's developmentally appropriate when kids are just figuring out that in any arrangements it's still the same number. Right. Um, and this one, you're going to pick up the rope, so you have to use both hands. Mm -hmm. This might be a little bit difficult for students, but so you just have to... And you have to hit only the bubbles that have two, two. objects. Yes. So if they have one or three, that would not count. Right, so I'm not going to get that one. Amazing! You did it! <laughs> and then it just goes up. So it would go to three. And we'll continue going up mm -hmm. the numbers. Okay, 
So that's great. I have an, uh, an app that uh, does similar things, in the, but uh, in a little bit more sophisticated way. So this app is Candy Count, and in Candy Count you do exactly what it says. You count candy, but you also can separate them by uh, color, by shape, etc. So let's uh, play, and this is the free version. There is a $2.99 uh, paid version. And if you really like it and kids are working with it and you think that's worth investing in, I will definitely do that. So you can shake or tap the bag and I'm going to shake it. And you get the candies. And now what you do is you start, uh, start organizing, sorting first by color. And so we take them, one. I also like that this app gives you directions. Mm -hmm. Orange, blue. Blue, blue. And it repeats blue, the colors as you blue, put them in. So you're learning white, the names of the colors white, if you don't white, know them. And white, it actually types brown, them. So you get to brown, see what brown, it written. And feedback. Yes. Let's count the items in each jar. Select, count with me. One. One. Count with one, two. So you're just tapping helps you count, you go through, you can start with count. any jar, it doesn't mean you have to do it in order right One, now. Two, three, and four. you have to tap the actual object and then it disappears so it helps with that idea that you can tap it only once mm -hmm. and not the thing that, ha that happens with young kids and that is they keep uh, recounting yeah. because they don't remember if they counted it or not. Uh, so now we've counted this one, one and two, we'll, count, we'll finish counting because you have to go through everything count here. One, two, you can't which is skip. nice also. Four, five. Yeah. Nice work. She sounded like it was nice work, but which she was not impressed. The most <laughs> uh, and then questions like which one has the most. Nice work. And which one which has the fewest. Has the and again, they Trade walk you down. with the sound. The few? Great job. So you can try again. And then you have which questions like this. Which one has more items? So this, compared to the other uh, apps we looked at, has multiple layers. Mm -hmm. So it keeps uh, pushing and trying to see if kids can figure out more and more sophisticated uh, number sense nice. uh, ideas so it's beyond just the counting right but i do like it because of that so if you've got somebody who's uh, more advanced and has more concepts this allows for a more complete mm -hmm. experience and what i love about this in the sense of working in an early childhood or even a primary classroom is they can move from this to actually doing this with jars yeah. and marbles or other objects so you can replicate this with real counting and moving things in and out of cups and also doing it like this. It's also a way to connect what's going on in, in the classroom with home if you want to send an assignment like that ho at, uh, to uh, their home. And you can see that there's actually a counter that says how long we've been doing this. So this is, we've been here for about three minutes, which is quite enough. And if you go to the main menu, you can see that uh, you can play or you can uh, do things to set up, and this is for parents or teachers, so you have to actually do something like this, and it'll allow you to focus on what do you want to do with the colors, what do you want to do with the numbers, how much, what language do you want to pick, so you can see that there are multiple languages internationally, and now we're in a foreign language. So you can actually make this uh, work in other countries or if you're using a second language, that might be a, a great idea. So that's a, a cool little addition. And this one is called Candy Count. The last one I want to talk about is, a, again, from the same a, Studio 8. And this one is called City Skate. And again, it's about number sense, a First Eight. Not Studio 8, First Eight Studios. And it's Gracie again. Gracie. And this time she's skateboarding and she's trying to collect objects uh, based on the number she's at and I'm right now at two and this is very simple and again it's guiding me through the process one tap for small jump tap to jump you got it 
and you get practice, and then you move through. Tapping twice makes a super jump. So you get super jump, and then you practice. I really like how colorful it is. I really like how simple and focused on one idea it is. So this is great. And yes, I like these apps because there's not a lot of distraction going on. Yeah. And the kids know exactly what. Yeah, and there's not extra things they can do just for fun, which sounds wrong, but it actually does allow them to focus on the main effect. I can do this without looking. This is how good I am at counting. So you can see that this is focused. It gets more complicated with more numbers. You don't get deducted for numbers you miss, but uh, you do get an X and you fall down if you get the wrong number. So this one is called Cityscape, and again, it's a great one to uh, look at different numbers. And you can see you get a complete, and now you can uh, you can do the actual level. So today we talked about different math apps that help young children get number sense, counting, and different aspects of uh, early uh, arithmetic. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.